Una bontà. <ride> Eighty-year-old Teresa lives in Bivongi, which has the highest number of over ninety-year-olds in Italy. Teresa is a youngster. Neighbor Pasqualina is helping with the green olive dressing. Buongiorno, sono Teresa. Adesso vi preparo la pasta di cazzo con, con il sugo degli olivi. Un pomodori freschi. Per la giornata, l'ho raccolto ieri positivamente per loro. Questi sono gli olivi. Ecco, adesso inizio a fare la pasta. Teresa is using about 300 grams of semolina flour or semola rimacinata in Italian. She pours in just under 150 ml of water to form a dough. Nella pentola di terracotta. She's using bottled water because it's easier to add. Teresa kneads this for around 10 minutes, while Pasqualina removes the stones from the home-cured olives. Pasqualina uses a terracotta pot for gentler cooking. She pushes the fresh tomatoes through a food mill to remove the skin and pips, and adds the puree to the pot. Cipolla. Cipolla. Si, si. Extra vergine di oliva. She adds basil, salt and a chilli pepper and leaves everything to simmer. Meanwhile, Teresa rolls out a thick rub of dough, which she snips at 10 cm lengths. She oils her hands to help roll out her dough. She wraps the dough around a grass stalk and then rolls it out to create a long macaroni. Teresa isn't worried about a name. She just calls it pasta di casa or homemade pasta. Teresa is a keen singer and this helps the pasta making process. This song is the one everyone sings during the olive harvest. Pasqualina joins in. Con la pioggia. E anche le ali per dormire. Per dormire. <laughs> vai in compagnia. Vai Teresina, vai, vai. Teresa explains she washes her olives and then adds about 200 grams of salt for every five liters of water. The more salt, the longer the olives last. Her flavorings are chili pepper, garlic and fennel flowers. Pasqualina cooks the pasta in boiling salted water for around five minutes. She drains them completely. She adds a little of the dressing to the pasta, then layers it in the plate with more dressing and pecorino cheese. <laughs> Neighborliness and simple good cooking are two of the many reasons why everyone lives so long in Bivongi. Buon appetito! Una bontà! <laughs> Buonissima! 
Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.